Last week we learned all about addition. This week we're going to learn about subtraction. So when you add something, that means you're getting more. You're adding things together. But when we subtract, it means we're taking things away. Say that with me. You're taking it away. Nice job. So for example, if I had five pencils and I wanted to take two away, five pencils and I want to take two away, how many are left? We started with five and we took away two. We subtracted two. Let's count how many are left. We have one, two, three. So five subtract two equals three. Let's try another example. So if I have four apples, here they are, four wonderful apples. I have four of them and I wanna give away two. So that means I want to subtract two. Four subtract two equals, let's count how many are left. We started with four and we took away two. So now we have one, two. So four subtract two equals two. Nice work. Let's go ahead and try one more together and then it'll be your turn to practice on your own. So if we have four, take away three. Four, take away three, we're left with one more. If we have four and we subtract, which means we're taking it away, and we take three away, we're left with one. So four subtract three equals one. Nice work. I'm gonna go ahead and jump off screen now, but don't worry, I'll be just around the corner. If we have five books and we want to subtract four of those, that means we're going to take away four. We're left with one more. So five subtract four equals one. If we have three toy planes and we want to subtract two of those, so that means we're going to take away two. We're left with how many? One. 3 subtract 2 equals 1. If we have 5 spheres and we want to take away one of those, 5 and we want to take away 1, we're left with how many? 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 subtract 1 equals 4. If we have 3 cakes, 3 subtract 1 means we have how many left? We have 3 and we took away 1. That means there is 1, 2. There's 2 left. 3 subtract 1 equals 2. Ooh, this one is a tricky one. 3 take away 0. But what does 0 mean? So that means if we have 3 and we take away 0, that means we're taking away nothing because zero represents nothing. If I have three candies and I took away zero of them, that means I still have three left. So zero means nothing. So when you see that zero, remember it represents nothing. Amazing job with your subtraction today. Remember when we subtract, it means we're taking it away. Nice job today, and I hope to learn with you again soon.